How are we going, folks? Now, today, we're going to do a BRICS test. For those who don't know what a BRICS test is, it's a measurement of the sugar levels or the mineral density in your plants. Now, plants, the way that works is they photosynthesize from the leaves, they make their energy, they push some of that down into the soil, and in return, when they feed the microbes, because when it goes into the soil, it doesn't stay with the plant, it releases it into the soil, and in return, it receives the nutrients that it requires to be able to grow big, strong, and healthy. So the nutritional value of your plant comes from within the soil, not from synthetic fertilizers. That's a false sense of security, because all they, all they do is make your plants grow big, but don't, not necessarily rich with minerals. And the best form of minerals are from microbes in the soil. And if you harvest straight away and consume it, that's when you get the best benefits out of it. Now, the other day we were talking about mulch versus no mulch in the garden bed, and I was having a debate with myself whether I like it or don't like it. And my mate Craig said, how about doing a BRICS test to see the ones with mulch versus the ones without mulch, what the BRICS levels are. So that's what we're going to do here. But I need to also factor in, for those who don't know what BRICS measurement is, well, it's a little tool here. And you look through the eyepiece, you take the juice of a plant, squeeze it onto the, onto the glass pane there, and you have a look inside, and you have a colour differentiation between the blue and the white. Where they meet on the scale, that's your measurement. Now, a good plant or a healthy plant, when it's very rich in nutrients, will reach somewhere around 9, 10, 11, 12 is the optimum number, where plants are pretty resilient against pest and disease attack. And also what we need to factor in, here's the time of the day you're doing the test. So if you're actually going to get yourself one of these things, and it's great to get one because you should walk around not just on your edibles, but even flowering plants to see how they're performing, how they're progressing, what sort of nutritional value they've got for themselves, not so much just to consume, so you know whether or not they're doing well and they're able to warn off any pest and disease. But the other part is at the time of the day when you do it, because the way this works with plants, uh, and the science behind it is that in the morning it should be pretty low because it's already downloaded its energy into the soil. So the bricks level will drop. But as the day progresses and depending on how warm it is and how sunny it is, the plant will start building up its bricks count. So by midday, two o'clock, somewhere around there, it can vary, depends on where you are and the positioning of your plants or, or the garden. Uh, your measurement will be at its highest point around the midday time, give or take a couple of hours. But by the afternoon, around four o'clock onwards, it starts to download the energy into the soil. So now when we're doing this little filming segment here, it's late in the afternoon and because it's daylight savings, it feels like it's a little bit early than it actually is. So we're pushing past six o'clock now as we're filming. So I would dare say that these levels won't be 12. I reckon they'll be around eight, seven, if I've got any higher than that, I'll be wrapped. But realistically, they should be going down. So around the five, six, seven, let's say seven, should be a comfortable number that I should be aiming for or looking to get. So what have we got here? We've got lettuce, and I'm thinking what we've got to compare to, because with the beds with the mulch don't necessarily have the same array of plants as this one here, but there are uh, beetroot and lettuce as well. So let's just do a lettuce first to see where we're at. I've got a nice big iceberg over here. So I'm just gonna take a bit of the leaf and the younger the leaf, the better the reading because generally the energy of the plant pushes towards the new growth, not to the old growth, because that's already done its job. So we take a sample, we've got a gully crusher here, and let's hope we've got some juice coming out of this. Yeah, that's all we want, beautiful. Let's have a look at this now for a second. Where are we? Yeah, we're sitting around five to six. So, you know, that's okay at this time of the day, folks. I can lie to you and say it's 12, but it's not. It's not, it's actually five, just above five. So let me clean that. So that's that lettuce there. And you know, by the time sunset com sets completely, we're gonna be even lower, I reckon. So five is a decent number for an evening time. And it should be at least nine, 10, if not 12 by midday. Let's do this cos lettuce. Oh geez, I took off too many leaves there. Oh. <laughs> that's sitting at four. So that's low. But nothing wrong with the plant. And now we'll do a beetroot leaf. Look at that. Purple colour. And that's sitting at seven, six and a half to seven. And the line is actually fuzzy. And what that means, we've got a high... Uh, microbial count going on there. So if the colours where they meet, uh, is, it's, it's actually a distinct line, that means you've got a low microbe, microbial count. But the actual uh, line here was fuzzy. 
So it blurred from a white fading into a blue. And that's a good sign. So we've got a good count there. Now this is the bed without mulch. And the idea here is that the moss should actually give us a higher reading, the beds with mulch, because we've got more composting going on there. So let's go and check out the other one. All right, now this bed here has got the mulch in it. Pretty much a similar bed. You can see we've got cos, we've got uh, iceberg, and we've got the beetroot and spring onion. So yeah, I think it was planted a week or so earlier than the other one. This is beetroot. I've got no light here. We're going into darkness. So that one there had a seven. This is about a five. Well, it's in it's in more shade, so it's been in shade longer than the other one has. So it's a lower reading. I just picked it off this big one over here, so I'm going to go on this side and pick this leaf here. Let's see if this has got a better reading. Uh, six and very very fuzzy too so just a little bit lower look it's not to say that this bed's not performing as well as the other one i think it's because it's actually at least two hours if not more cast by shadow um, by the conifers so it's already downloading and it's going to its dormant stage well not dormant you know going to sleep night time all right let's try this lettuce here looks nice and healthy nothing's eaten it at all super clean we'll take the middle leaf all right, I'm destroying my lettuce for you guys. Well, I'm doing it for myself, really. Ah, oh, we've got some. Beautiful. That's enough. I don't know what I'm looking... Oh, there's, there's light there. I'm going to put another drop on here. Because that looked like a 10. Ah, uh, where's the sun? Bear with me, folks. It's so fuzzy, literally, it just, it fades from white to blue. There's no distinct marking there, so it's sitting around seven, eight, but, all right, yeah, six, seven, but it's so fuzzy, it's hard to tell. I even gave my camera operator to have a look at it, and he agrees with me, so it's so fuzzy, which means it's a really rich bed full of microbial activity, so that's a good sign. And the last one I'm going to do is now the cos lettuce. And see what this comes up with because we had a low reading on the other side it's nearly seven o'clock now folks so there we are juices coming out okay there we are plenty of there and that is three have a look at him food coma folks it's passed out six drumsticks and a rabbit <laughs> that's what he just ate <laughs> It's a dog's world. So let's recap on what we've just done here. So with mulch and without mulch. And the readings here are with mulch, we'll talk about the iceberg. Here it was six to seven, whereas with no mulch, it was five. Now with mulch, we've got the cos letters here. Uh, it was three, where without mulch was four. And the beetroot, which was the other one we read, with the mulch, we had a six reading. And without the mulch, we had a seven reading. So it, there are a lot of factors again we've got to consider here at the time of the day and the moisture and the temperature as well. So what I'm going to do is come back tomorrow and measure it morning, noon and afternoon again and get the readings on the three different time readings that I've done and compare them and then we'll, we'll share them with you again tomorrow. Also is the quality of the mix that we're using and we're using our planting mix which is, which is a combination of seven different ingredients, all natural, no chemicals, no synthetic fertilizers added into there at all. So all the difference is, is the mulch itself and be it all that's only about six weeks old this garden bed if that um, it really hasn't really broken down and we're talking about the mulch and just a quick look here we've had a look before in the past you can see this is a mulch it's a little bit dry on the surface but underneath there it is really moist and we have got a lot of activity going on I'm sure we have so that's our planting mix there folks and it's it is breaking down it hasn't completely broken down yet, so it's still quite active and it's got a lot of good life in it. Uh, and I'm really happy with the way the plants are growing. I mean, look at this. We've got over 20 plants in this one square metre bed 
and it's just kicking goals for me. So stay tuned for better and exciting times with the Bricks Reading Test with and without mulch. And in the meantime, check out our website, VasilisGarden.com. Click and collect available and support your local garden centres. Our range is out there. You can check out who's stocking our products on our stockers page, or otherwise you can just stay on our website and shop for delivery at home or click and collect. From me, Vasily, Varesi. Thank you.